Hi guys, this is Tom. We have Phil from Rapid Fire Wargaming. We are here with another 40k battle report. 1750 points of awesomeness. We have the White Scars, we have House Mortan, um, and you might ask me, how does a battle like that occur? This is how. Welcome viewers to the desert planet of Jamuka, a world characterized by its vast dusty plains, scorching sun, and unstable core. The planet has long since been void of human habitation, the inhospitable environment and shortage of fundamental minerals to sustain life meant only the strongest could survive the grueling summers of the plains. The Astartes of the Wolves of the Plain are skilled scavengers, hunters without equal, as would be expected of a successor chapter of the White Scars. They have thrived in the environment, living desolate lives out in the vast emptiness of the plains and forging communities across great swathes of land. The Wolves are not garrisoned here by chance, they guard an invaluable resource. According to Imperial Archives, geophysical data taken via ground-penetrating thermal imaging during the Daylight War some 100 years past revealed that the planet is rich in dimeritium ore, a key component in the construction of Imperial armour that sits several kilometres below the Imperial surface. Its value is unquantifiable. The Imperium are not the only ones that know of and understand of the value of these minerals that lay untapped here. They are unseen entities that will stop at nothing to ensure the Imperium is never able to successfully mine this planet. The Imperium believe their secret is secure. They will pay for that arrogance. House Mortan, the great and noble night house, very recently made planetfall with their tech adepts, beginning a geological survey of the sector under the guidance of Inquisitor Kotiaz. Kotiaz's instructions were clear. Nothing is to interrupt or delay progress. Any contact from outside the landing party is to be repelled with absolute prejudice. The White Scars, under a clear mandate from the Mechanicum, mobilise in force. The Great Khan was not forewarned, and as such is considered to be a grave insult to his honour. Through a series of deceptions, artfully designed by the Ruinous Powers, the White Scars and the Knights of House Mortan now face each other in a titanic clash of wills, both believing they act for the good of the Imperium. Only one can prevail. Phil, tell us about this list. Thank you, champs. So, I'm running my beloved House Mortan. Um, really great fluff behind them because they uh, they were lost in some world just cut off from the Imperium by a warp storm uh, for hundreds of years and were battling giant monsters in pitch darkness before uh, the warp storm as you do as you do uh, before the warp storm lifted and the Imperium kind of found them and brought them back into the fold so it was that really that that yeah got me into them so I'm running 1720 points so I've got 30 points in the ether Loser. oh that's big yeah well you know but um, yeah, I tried, tried to run a list I've not run before actually. So I've gone uh, three big boys. Well, I've got three detachments. First is uh, Coach S. Uh, again, pretty new uh, new rules, old model, new rules. So for the narrative, uh, Coach S is effectively made planet fall and he's just commanded the knights, uh, acquisition the knights to- By order of the Imperium. Indeed it is, indeed it is. Serious inquisition or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. So I've got uh, two, Detachments, super heavy detachments. Uh, the first is my Knight Lancer, Serastus. Uh, lovely model, lovely forge world model. Um, he has got Armour the Sainted Iron for a natural two up, and he's got Knight Seneschal Warlord trait, which is an extra attack. So he's a close combat Serastus Knight, but he's only got four attacks. So he's actually got less attacks than a Gallant, which is uh, a bit well, it's bizarre, isn't it? It is, and he's lost uh, flanking speed, so he can only move uh, assault. Yeah, advance 1d6 so yeah he's lost a bit of his juicy goodness but I still love him um, and then two also full job models two Moraxes uh, good Dakar good at spitting out that Dakar I love these guys I think they're fantastic uh, yeah tw 12 shots any sixes or additional two hits minus two one damage ignores cover so yeah do a lot of work generally and then the second attachment I've got two gallants and a Helvrin uh, one of the gallants, uh, sorry, both gallants have got the uh, rock, the ignore cover rocket pod. What's that one? The Iron Storm? Iron Storm, it? yeah. Yep, yeah. and uh, both have got melters. Uh, I paid an extra CP to give one of the gallants a land strider, which is Very nice. this one here, which has got the uh, circular chain blade, which acts as a, a chainsaw. And I think, I think that's it. So I start with nine. I've spent one CP to uh, get the extra wall of trade. So I begin the game with eight CPs. Cheeky. Phil, thanks very much. Pleasure. Over to you, Thomas. Tom, tell me a story. 
Cheers, buddy. Um, so here is my fun and fluff army that I enjoy running occasionally. It's the uh, Walls of the Plain, the successor chapter of the White Scars. Um, they're inheritors of the Primark, so we're just literally carbon copy of the White Scars. Um, the story behind them is they're a very old um, sort of successor chapter. With the advent of the Primaris, they fully embraced it. Um, so we've got a few uh, units still in the uh, process of crossing the Rubicon to become Primaris. Um, but it's emphasis on speed, lightning fast, mobility. So as you can see, Inceptor heavy. So I've got a converted Inceptor Smash Captain, a converted Inceptor Librarian. Um, I've got a Chaplain here. He's in the process of crossing the Rubicon. I've got uh, two units of six Inceptors and a one unit of three. Um, a unit of Scouts. Um, pretty old school, old hammer. So uh, Devastator Squad. Obviously, multi melters throughout with Armorium Cherub, um, Tactical Squad, and a Primari Squad, Jumpy Dudes, and a Siphon Interceptor Fighter. Um, the story behind them is um, when the champion is chosen, um, the Tech Priests and the Apothecaries have found a way of turbocharging. Um, the crossing the Rubicon, but in the process, they their life expectancy is massively cut short from hundreds, if not thousands, of years into a space of a couple of months. So, because it's such a great honour, they they seek death by fighting the greatest of foes, whether that be the biggest tanks around, the biggest knights. They're out there to kill the biggest things. Um, they see it as a great honour. They never die. In, inbuilt inside their armour is a transponder beacon. So when their heart stops, they're instantly transported back to the battle barge. The armour is removed, the body is taken back to their home world, and it's taken up onto the mountains where the eagles of the plain come down, eat the remains, fly away, and they're forever a wolf of the plain. I like it. Very thematic, Tom. I love that. Mission coming up next. Welcome back, viewers. We're just going to run through the mission briefly. Hi, Phil. Hi, Tom. Tom, can I just say, is wearing our third strip today. <laughs> a delightful shade of Guantanamo orange. Believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, it was the last colour they had. <laughs> Who would have thought? All, all my time in juvie. Nice. <laughs> what are we playing? We are playing the Four Pillars. The Four Pillars is an eternal war mission uh, with four objectives in a square. One, two, three, and four. This is end of battle round scoring. So a player, will, if, if he holds one objective, will score a point. If he holds more objectives than his opponent. In fact, no, that's not true. If he holds three objectives or more, he will get three victory points. Um, there is also uh, an additional point awarded if a player scores more kills in the battle round than his opponent. And all the usual sort of tertiary is in place. So a sort of first strike, line breaker, and slay the warlord. Ross, How are we feeling about that, Phil? Ross, question. Go on. What do you need to be to secure one of these objectives? You need to be troops, Phil. Great. What How many got? troops have you got, I've Phil? Got none. I've got none. Oh, yes. Yes. darn. Tell me, how many troops have you got, Tom? I've only got three. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. But... They're suicide. I'll play suicide. So. Yeah, I've got yeah. three big well, melee my, boys. My warlord's goal is to die in battle. Yeah. So I've already given up Slay the Warlord straight away. <laughs> yeah, so if, he if he doesn't die in battle, I will feel I personally fail. I'm excited. So. Good man. Yeah! <laughs> wow. It's all I can say about that. <laughs> you can't take that sort of stuff. We'll come back in deployment shortly. We shall. Right, returning back, they see the armies have now deployed. Let's have a little walk through, shall we? Let's have a closer look at the deployment. Phil, talk us through it. Why have we done what we've done? What I've done is I've lined up in a line to run forward. You've lined up in a line? To run forward, yes. All the I'm, tactics involved. I'm literally going to use Landstrider on this puppy to try and slingshot these two up. He's going to just try and be a nuisance when I say he, the second gallon. The Moira axes will try and pop off some shots. At the moment, I am going second because I rolled a four against Thomas's three. So Tom at the moment is having first turn. Right. Uh, Just could, give us a, give the viewers a quick run through of Warlord Traits and Relics, mate. Uh, Warlord Traits, uh, so basically the big boy has got a two up natural save and he's got plus one attack, so he's got five attacks. Um, just to clarify, House Mortan, every turn they charge or are charged, 
they get plus one weapon skill. Lovely. So hitting on guns, twos. Yeah, Gallant's Glorious. Uh, the on twos anyway, but yeah, the Lancer's are sitting on twos now as well. And I've got Land Strider on this puppy, which is plus um, two inches to advance and charge for any knights within six inches. Which happens to be the Lancer. Yeah. And who have we got? Who have we got hiding in there? We have got the demon hunter himself, top boy on the farm. <laughs> Cortiers. And Cortiers. Cortiers. Uh, and he's got Killer Caster something. He's uh, two powers. Conflagrate. <laughs> yeah, basically, he's got two powers. So he's got Smite and the one which is D3 Mortal Wings. So two, he's double smiting. Double smiting. He's double smiting. Yeah. He's, he's uber smitten. Yeah. He's pointing at big things and saying, go Lovely. kill. Go kill. And they're going to go kill these boys over here. Yeah. These glorious little so white I've got chaps. Similar sort of game Tom, plan, there's, really. um, correct me if I'm wrong, mate. There's not a lot on the board. No, I've got almost exactly half, almost exactly, <laughs> but off the board. <laughs> so I haven't got much on the table yet, but it's all coming in, all coming in to uh, punch some dick, dick punch later. Punch some big um, robot dick. Yeah, <laughs> kicking dicks. Um, yeah, so I've got some inceptors, some suppressors, some intercessors, some scouts, and my on the board. Board. Chaplain's off board. Librarian's off the board, Smash Captain's off the board, 12 Insects off the board. You're going to miss some round one plus one to win. Yeah, but okay. I, don't, I don't want them in there. No. But just to, as Ross said, go through the Warlord traits and things like that. My Captain has got the Imperium Sword Warlord trait. Nice. I've also spent a CP to give him an additional one, which I think is Headhunter. Whatever one it is, it gives me plus one to hit and wound nice. on vehicles or monsters. Well, that's well. quite yeah. handy, Tom. Yeah, it, I, it's not cooked. It's what I've always ta taken with, with him. It's convenient I've been playing nights tonight. So Imperium Sword, plus one attack, reroll charge, distance, and plus one strength. Yeah, and yeah the strength yeah, 10. So, yeah, plus strength one to hit, plus one to win. Oh. Uh, my librarian, which is off the board as well, it's got Ride the Winds and Storm Reef. Reef? Ooh. Booby traps. So, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> so, let's go. Right, so we'll be back at the end of... No, actually, we shall not. We need to talk about season. Yep. Don't think I want it. I want to it's big. Think, I think I want to go second. Um, yeah. End of battle round scoring is valid. Yeah, yeah. And I th I think, yeah. I think it'd be quite thematic. So uh, yeah. join us at the end of Tom's movement phase battle round Unos. Joining you at the end of the White Scars movement phase turn one. Tom, tell us what you've done. Uh, cheers, Ross. I bought the uh, Zyphon Interceptor over here to hopefully take a couple of wounds off this, this um, Moywax over here, if that's how you pronounce it. The suppressors will stay still, again, hopefully to take a few wounds off of this. Inceptor jump forward, same again, same again. I've got these two infantry units, these intercessors and these tactical marines in range of this objective here. And I've brought my scouts back over here to be in range of that objective there. Lovely. Um, I've got to try and keep as much alive. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of troops around late on in the game, so I've got to try and get these objectives sooner rather than later. Um, if you're happy to, I'm happy to go straight into the shooting phase. Psychic phase now? No, my um, library is off yeah. the board. Straight into shooting phase. So straight into the shooting phase. So my Siphon Interceptor is going to put everything into this Moirax here. And when you say everything, what guns has it got, Tom? Uh, it has got um, a twin, so four LAS cannons. Oh, naughty. And a Siphon missile battery. Glorious. So as you've did, did, done me the real honour of telling me exactly what you're shooting at for your whole army, uh, I'll probably rotate iron shields on this puppy. So I'm, down to, <laughs> I'm down to seven that, CPs. That seems sensible, Phil. <laughs> I'm down so, to seven CPs. Um, cheers, mate. Yeah, I will do. Um, so this siphon interceptor doesn't suffer the, f the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons. Um, so we're hitting on threes. Nice. All hit. Wow. Glorious. And then uh, it'll be threes to wound. Two go through. I've got eight command points left. I'm going to spend one already. Okay. Ah. Unlucky. So two, two go, go through. through. I shall use these two. dice, and I'm on my invulnerable save, presumably. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Four ups. Uh, what's the damage there? So uh, D six. D six. Uh, I'm going to do a CP as well. I want to keep him alive. Oh, so he's oh, good. That's obnoxious. <laughs> and then we'll come straight into the siphon heavy missile battery. There you go, mate. Uh, three hits. He's accurate. He's got his iron. Uh, strength six, toughness. Uh, toughness seven. So fives. Uh, one wound. At minus three. Uh, so that goes through. That's three damage. Okay. And then we'll go straight into this suppressor squad over here. Again, straight into this Moirax. 
Yep. And they've got two shots each. And they didn't move, so we are hitting on threes. Four hits, I'll take that. And then it's strength seven, so wounding on fours, I assume? Yep. Oh. <laughs> so that's one wound at minus three. Uh, four up, here we go. So he's saved. Juicy, 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 juicy. And then these dudes are going to fire, uh, sorry, these interceptors are going to fire as more backs here. I'll come, give me a second to get some dice, but they've got all the shots. We'll join you in a moment. Back with enough dice to, for three interceptors. Come to this chap here. So hitting on three. Do, be, do, 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 be, do. This is when you need a captain or something nearby. But all mine are up in the, uh, the sky above. So I'm wounding <laughs> Buffage. Master Buffage, wounding on fives, oh, not bad at no, all. I'll take that for six wounds at nice minus sir. one, I believe. We are we not in Dota, Doctor? Uh, they're assault. Nice, yeah, so they're not uh, heavy. They're not heavy. Oh, not heavy. Of course, they're not. not six, mate, was it? Six, mate, yeah. They just got the same profile as Heavy Bolt, haven't they? It freaks me out. There they have, yeah. Oh, ah, nice. So uh, four go through. Nice. How, How much damage? One each? Uh, one each, yeah. Good, good shooting, good shooting from the, uh, okay. the interceptors. Um, so I think these are going to be out of range. These do uh, these measure up. tactical marines. Yeah, it's twenty-four. Twenty-four inches. Uh, uh, yeah, out of range. But the heavy bolter, which is still in cover here and didn't move, Cheeky. I hate to add. Cheeky. Um, Thirty-two, thirty-six inch range for a bolter. Thirty-six, I believe. Thirty-six range, yeah. So yeah. hitting it on threes. One hit, a uh, wounding on fives, which doesn't wound. Hmm, that was rapid fire. Interesting, interesting. So how many wounds, wounds, how many wounds have you lost so he's, far? He's got five left, mate. Five left? Five left. Uh, so what? Just for the, I've got eight command points left. What are you thinking? I'm out of range. So I've been put steam in, oh, hellfire shell, whatever it's no. called. No, saucy. Um, I think, unfortunately, that's my turn. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, short and sweet, but it is what it is. Right, I shall get moving and we'll join you in a moment. Comes up next. Dig, 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 punch. Yeah. So we're back at the end of the House Mortan first turn movement phase and there's quite a bit that's charged up the board field. Tell us about it. Yeah, we've moved up in a line again. Uh, this gallant advanced, as did this one. Uh, using Land Strider, uh, got 20 inches. I couldn't actually get all the way past uh, the Xiphon, so Good bit of movement blocking there from Thomas. The Lancer just moved up, he did not advance. This Gallant advanced up. Hopefully get a charge to get them off the objective, but the Moirax is gonna probably take care of them. The Moirax just moved up. Helverin, which I actually, uh, we didn't put on for the deployment, uh, but it's just moved up from behind this building here. Uh, and he's gonna hopefully uh, put some pain on the Xiphon. Um, and that's that. Are, so, we, are, we, are we reasonably happy to go into psychic phase, we're, my we're man? Very happy we're very happy to go into psychic phase. phase. So, uh, psychic phase is something I'm still very unfamiliar with. First time as last week. Uh, so, Cotiers, who is there, uh, is going to put his two powers, uh, Castigation and Smite, both into the Xiphon as the closest model. Um, so, Castigation needs a six to go off. And he gets a six. I can't deny and um, if manifested, select one enemy unit within 18 mm -hmm. and visible and roll 3d6. If the total exceeds the lowest leadership, then that unit suffers d3 wounds. So what's the leadership of a Xiphon, Tom? Leadership of a Xiphon is eight. 26. Eight. That's definitely the yeah. yeah. Okay, d so d3. So one. just one. And then straight into smite. Goes off. For d3. So cool. Uh, three three, three mortals. Koji has successfully thrown some mine bullets into the flyer. The Good work. Got a bit of a headache. Are we ready for the shooting phase, Phil? Or do you want to come back? Come back. Because it'll be slicker that way, so I'll get the dice made up. Beautiful. See, see you in a minute. Phil, what are you targeting? So, we're going to target, first of all, the Helvering versus the Xiphon uh, to try and get that in a bit of trouble. So I'm going to drop two strats here. It's the Mortan Slow uh, Shadow Strat, which is one CP, and that effectively ignores uh, modifiers to hit. So I'll be hitting on threes, and then I'll drop another strat. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's effectively re-roll hits versus flyers. Um, so how much is that costing you? Uh, it cost me two CP in total. Wow. 
Good stuff. Uh, sorry to be naive. Do Armour just move and ignore the penalty? They do. They do, they do. They they do, do indeed. Uh, so 43 uh, from the Armager Auto Cannon. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 shots. 5, 6, 7. Hit on threes. Uh, that is some cocked dice action. Uh, and reroll miss because of the. Okay. Six hits. Very nice. Strength for that gun. Uh, strength seven. Strength seven. Yeah. Force the wound. Force the wound. Uh, so one, two, three. Minus one, I Just a minus one. Three at minus one. So it? fours. Oh. Oh. That's nine wounds. It's that's, gone. That's nine wounds, yeah. Uh, I'm going to. I need a lot of CP to get my smash captain go, make getting ticking. And that's a lot of points going. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, I've still got some shooting left on him. If that's why you can. What's your else? What? For, oh, sorry, mate. I've got uh, his lance, which isn't isn't wonderful to be honest, but it. CP we roll. No. Oh, it's gone down. <laughs> it's gone. Does it gone explode? Down. No. no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh, the Zyphon goes down. Good I shooting. Did not need that. That is early, but good use nice. of CPs and there. That's, um, that's first strike to fill there. First as well. strike to fill. Beautiful Zyphon. Very X-wing. Oh, it's and you wonder why people don't use them. But you're the better man. I know. Brilliant. You're I the know. better I man. Feel, I feel the better man. The thing is, if you think about it, like how many flies would survive a Hellbrim with the strat that's popped for real yeah. hits and ignores so it if, and ignores heavy. If I may, without fear of waffling. Because you know, don't want Phil, to waffle. Phil, give us give us a soundbite. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us. How small town I think are overlooked for us. You know, you can right. look at rapidfirewargaming.com and you can get my opinions yeah. on that. But plus one weapon skill and then the strat to basically ignore all modifiers. If you're on a crusader against Eldar and heavy flyer list, it's brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, especially sorry, I digress. Especially a late talk. Love life. Yeah. It? So up next then. Uh, is this uh, Morax shooting into the suppressors? That What's the range of that Morax? Uh, Morax is... 24. No, it's not. It's more than that, sir. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, my bad. I'm moderately positive, but now I'm going you to check. You would know, it. you've been using it a lot longer than it's I have. seed of doubt. Yeah, the seed of doubt has been inserted inside me. <laughs> mm. not, the first, oh. not the first seed that's been put inside me. <laughs> 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 Thank Don't you. Don't <laughs> Thirty-six. Okay. And I did measure it before. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sounds good to so me. I've got no idea. I don't even know the range of my own gun. It's a hundred, and he's hitting on one. <laughs> uh, so he will be hitting on a, a ne negative because he's damaged because you've taken down to five wounds. So he's in middle bracket, and he's hitting on fours. So Bosh. twelve shots, sixes are an additional two hits. Tesla. Where do you want me rolling, Chief? Just yeah. there, buddy. Uh, so two of them. So these all hit. And then these two and these two become hits. Two, two additional hits. Two additional hits. Very nice. Stop questioning my Moirax. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was an additional hit. Two no, additional hits is two awesome. Two additional hits. Very yeah, it's a brilliant, brilliant Super. unit. So proper Tesla. Um, so strength six. Toughness four. Uh, yeah. So threes. Oh, that's nice. Nice um, rolling, Chief. Does ignore cover? No, it doesn't ignore cover. Uh, minus two, mate. Minus two, so minus one because I'm in cover, so fours. So there's one dead, two dead, three dead. What is happening to me? Ouch, unit destroyed. This is meant to be my close this combat army. This is not good. <laughs> Wyrax is showing how powerful they can be. And a single tear rolls down my cheek because I'm getting mowed down <laughs> by a yeah. combat army. Oh. <laughs> Moirax is a good. They are very, very good units. Very good units. Highly rate those. Right, the Knight Lancer is going to fire his, uh, his lance, as you do, uh, into. A scout! Yeah. No, into uh, these chaps. Those chaps there, the uh, Inceptors. Awesome. Do it. Uh, so, what does he go? So, he's got heavy six. That's what he's got. And he's hitting on three. Uh, and it's strength six, so three. Three threes, yeah. So three hits at minus two. No. Three hits at minus one. D3 damage. Three wounds at minus one. So uh, fours. Uh, two go through. So you do with one at a time. So yep. three wounds each. Yep. Uh, two. Yes, it's one dead. Yep. Make hope you make the charge a little touch harder. Okay, so one more unit shooting. Um, 
I will throw this Moirax that is nestling nicely into your balls there for a second, Ross. Yeah. Keeping it warm. Uh, they, were, they were enjoying it. <laughs> into, so was your, the into the Scat, scat Squad here. Yep. <laughs> So, right shots. So shots. Hang on, three, six, is explode. Oh, so, so, oh god. Oh god. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> oh yuck. That's a lot of hits. How many hits is that in total, Phil? All of them. Two, <laughs> four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 16. 16 hits. I've got a feeling these are going to survive. Tesla! Uh, and this is going to be twos, isn't it? Strength 6. Toughness 4, isn't it? Scouts? Toughness 4, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got some. Three. Threes. Nice. What's the minus? I don't know why I think it's scouts. Just minus three. 2. <laughs> <laughs> so 6s. And 6s! Yeah! You're going to come in with your ass and stuff and punch me in the dick in a minute, so... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't disrespect the wolf. Plane. Pla planes of the wolf. The wolves of the The planes of the wolf. Planes of the wolf. It's my favourite talk about it. Pay attention. <laughs> oh, so is that the end of your, is that the end of your, your turn? It's like our shooting phase, at least. Just double yeah. check. I think it could be the end of the charge phase as well, yeah, because they're outside of 12. Outside so. of 12. End of the turn. So, end of the battle round summary coming up next. So, end of the first turn, uh, probably a, fair to say a pretty good one for House Mortan. However, in terms of points, obviously these guys here, troops units, holding that objective for a point. Phil achieves first strike with House Mortan. The Xiphon Inceptor goes up in flames, comes crashing down for a point for first strike. And... Yes, so it's 2-1 if you uh, yeah. have, a, have a look at our scoreboard. Yeah. Cheeky. <laughs> and he kills more units, so he gets an extra point for that. So yeah. that's why it's now currently 2-1. Phil, what have you got for us? Fans of the channel might have seen last week we had a Night Lords versus Admech game. And turn one was ridiculous, the Admech shooting. And we were like, oh, this game's going to be awful now. You know, we were like wondering what to do, weren't we? We think, oh, God. Yeah. Uh, but my counter punches, hopefully my counter punches. Exactly. Counter -punch, like half my, then, exactly half my army's coming in now. So. Turn three Night Lords, I was thinking, Christ, I've lost this. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it, it's all... It was a good first turn, you know. I'm, this army always takes a punch for uh, first turn. I need a strong second turn. I've got a lot of stuff coming down, so mm. hopefully I can uh, bring stuff into it. Really, I don't know if I'm going to kill more, but you know what? I don't care. I just want to kill knights, and if I lose, yeah. we all know the true winner is. Yes. Awesome. So we'll come back to you at the end of the White Scars movement phase. We should see a lot more white boys in the field. See you shortly. End of the movement phase. White Scars turn two. A lot has come in from the clouds. Tom, talk us about it. Dear mate, so I've got my librarian and my smash captain in here who's going to charge to his death and become... No, he's not, Tom. No, he's not. No, 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 no. no. he must die okay. to become right. part of his world, to become part of nature. A cloud across the planet. Yeah, exactly. He has to die. Otherwise, he's sort of foul. A little his... squirrel. Exactly. <laughs> an eagle or a squirrel. Yes. Exactly. So <laughs> I brought in a unit of six inceptors here, a unit of inceptors here, that are here, move from here to here. This tactical squad hasn't moved. I've brought it over, I've moved the Inceptor squad over here to hopefully stay alive and claim that objective. I brought my multi melter squad in. Over yes. There. A bit of a distraction, hopefully, keep something going Mel over here. And it melts a range as well? Uh, yeah, all in melter range. Awesome. And I've also brought in another six man Inceptor squad over here with a chaplain. Boys! So obviously, I won't get any of his wizardry stuff now, but hopefully, he'll be alive long enough to. Buff them. I've also gone into the tactical doctrine, so all my backup is now minus two. Psychic phase, go for it, Tom. Here we go. Ride the winds, and this is a White Scars special um, power. And basically, what it is is Wall Charger six, and if manifested, I'm going to select my Smash Captain. And until the end of the phase, um, I get plus two to my advance or my charge roll. Very nice. So on yeah, six, I get that. This gets a six, and I am out of deny range of. Is over there. Um, Successful. I, I don't need my additional um, psychic power, which is Storm Reef, but it's what my army has, and I don't tailor this army, is not going to be tailored to who it fights against. Quick, so, I'm quick question. Yeah. What's the deny range? I've not placed 24. Him. Is he out? Is he out? He's, uh, yeah. yeah, I believe Tom yeah. pre that. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Well, and then, Tom, cheers, mate. So and then a smitey Mook Smiteson into the they're equally distance apart, so actually I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to do it into the Lancer there. 
So. Oh. Oh. What's he got there? Oh, it's a cock knife. Reroll. roll. <laughs> five or six. Five or six. No, oh. uh, D3. Oh, D3. D3. Mortal wounds for three. For three. three. Nice. Not bad. I'll take that. And good, 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 good work, library. Yeah, I'll take well that. Well done. And I'll come back to my shooting phase. Shooting phase coming up shortly. So, White Scars, shooting phase. Tom, what are we doing? Uh, we're going to start off with our multi melter squad over there oh. going into the Morax. Yep. Um, I've got one Signum, so I'll do that after. So, these three dice are hitting on fours. One hit, and then this one hits on threes. So two hits, uh, wounding on threes. That's two wounds. Have they got an inbound save? Five ups. Uh, yes, just five ups. So two five ups. Two five ups, as you were. Ha! Lovely. So, do you want to use a CP on that? Uh, what's the damage? D6? Uh, D6, yeah, pick the highest. Uh, no, sorry. Go okay, so the, the first one does four, and the second one. That's five, so that's nine, nine wounds. wounds. Very nice, good shooting. And then I'm going to use my Amorium Cherub on the Sigmund gun to fire it one more time. So you have three hits, three wounds. Another five up, please, Chief, when you've got a second. Uh, just here. No, 2d6 with the highest. Needs a three. Oh! Boom. Boom. Good Boom. night! And he, he does not explode. He does not explode. Very like nice, that. very nice for the multi multi squad. That was cool. Was that a good night pun? You dropped there. Right? I did, yeah. Good yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, More yeah, like a yeah. bad night. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's the level of bands, people. <laughs> Except no substitute. So we're going to go right down to the other end there. Uh, this Inceptor squad is going to put everything into this five wound Morax. We'll roll the dice over here because I've counted them out already. There's 36 shots hitting on threes. So I'll get them in my, my little office worker hands. So hitting on threes. Oh god, that's awful. Define office worker hands, Tom. <laughs> Somebody works in an office. And now it's a rest. Soft, yet firm. <laughs> Lovely. So poetic. So that's that. Right. And then now I'm wounding on fives. I need some. There's no special wound shenanigans on these. No, nah, not yet, because the uh, chaplain was in reserve. So wounding on fives. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at minus two. Give me that. Eight at minus two. Five. Five ups. Ba, ba, ba. Got him. Ba, ba. Got five left. There's five on through. Yep. It's big. Uh, do I come on point where you roll one of them to keep him alive? Yeah. Go for it. Burning through them CP. Odds are against me, but I'm going to do it. No. Does he blow up? Yeah. Does he blow up? Now roll a six. <laughs> <laughs> and you use a CP reroll. Kaboom! God damn it! What'd Lee do? D6, it D3? Uh, I don't know. Right, we're going to come back we'll come when we've established whether he does D6 or D3 mortal wounds on an explosion. Back in a sec. So it turns out that a uh, Moirex uh, does D3, and he just did a cheeky two uh, on, his, uh, on his on his mate there next to him, the hell room. So, next up, Tom. Uh, we're going to do this unit of six here. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to do it in to the Lancer. Bosh. Uh, I will rotate on shields. So what's his inbound save now? Four. Uh, four up. Okay, Everything will be four So up. this is hitting on three, three, one, and one's because of the captain. Oh, that looks like good shooting. It's not bad there. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Let me spread it. Hits. Now for the mean, now for the big roll. Uh, fives. Fives. Oh, so that's one, two, six years. two, three, four, five, six. Not bad. Minus two. Six fours. I should say three, in theory. And you say four. Nice. Damage? Two. Damage one. Yep, two and still. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. And then we'll do the other um, two there. So there's six dice there, number four, number two. Do we shoot you now, Tom? Uh, these two into him. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So you can see if you put a chaplain with these dudes, the damage they can potentially do. So that's one, two, three, four, five, minus two on your Lancer. Uh, so four ups. 
Oh, nice. Uh, so, through. down to 20 wounds. Okie doke, we've got a Storm Bolter on the Librarian. So that's four shots. What's the Librarian's ballistic score? Anyone know off the top of their head? I would have said three. I'm going to say three. If it's wrong, keep well, your comments to yourself. Is, is he re-rolling <laughs> once? <laughs> yeah, because I like the yep. Um, yep. dude. And st this is sixes. For nothing. Nothing there. Um, whilst we're here, we'll come into this squad here. Um, I don't think they're in rapid fire range there. So it'd be 30. What's the range of a gun? 24. 24, is it? Yes, yeah, it's about So it's one shot each. Might as well. Plink damage. Chip Five damage. Six, on three. One, three. two, three. Wounding three on, sixes. on two. Nothing. Yeah. And I think that is my shooting phase done. Decent. Two, two more. Happy, day. Happy with that, Tom? Yeah, I think so. What weapon what, 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 have I checked? They've got a We'll put that into the uh, yeah, fire into the the Daka bossy Helverin. Helverin. Uh, no. Two wounds. Minus one. Takes a wound. Takes a wound. I'll take that for a shooting phase. Blinky, blinky. Oh, actually, sorry. Before we go, I've got um, heavy bolter. Heavy bolters here. So three shots from the heavy bolter who's inside there. I'm going to stick that into the lancer. <laughs> Classy. Classy, classy, San Diego. And then there are another four shots, well, actually three shots to the light, because one of the sergeant's got a power fist. Two hits, sixes. One okay. wound at minus one. Oh, that's it. Plinky. That's the Lancer, yeah? Yeah, into the Lancer. Plinky with Plinkerson. Plinky with Plinkerson. And we'll come back with the all important charge phase. This battle report could be over very quickly <laughs> if it doesn't go my way. So, uh, on that bombshell, a big charge phase coming up shortly. Coming hot. Coming back to you at the start of the White Scars charge phase. Tom, talk us through it. I understand some stratagems are on the go. Yes, so I've got used Fierce Rivalries, which is at the start of the charge phase, the first charge of the phase. is 3d6 and you discard the lowest. Lovely. Uh, with the psychic power that I've cast on my Smash Captain, it gives me an additional two, at least seven. So I'm going to use it because this entire army hinges on my Smash Captain making this charge. And because you've got the Imperium Sword? Yeah, and it, 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 this, is that re-rolls? You re-roll charges. So here well, we go. And hold on, oh, Phil's got to do some overwatch. You're in anyway. Yeah, I mean, so... You're in. He's in. Yeah, so I've got... But, so oh yeah, our sequence will do some overwatch. D6 That's shots. Uh, three shots with the... Uh, what's it we call it? Stubber? Yeah, no, the uh, rocket. Rocket, rocket pod. pod. Gotcha. Uh, all three hit. Uh, hit on sixes, bro. Hit on sixes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. It's Overwatch, isn't it? Hey. My, my, my bum shivered then. Yeah, and uh, Melter. Oh, oh, he was nervous. <laughs> he got nervous there. No, he so, so he's made it in. He's made so, it in. Yeah, he's got a juicy 11 inch charge. So, what you do with the Smash Captain, you're going to jump him up over there and stick him there. Well, why not? Any other charges joining in? Uh, yeah, we'll stick this six man Inceptor squad in there as well. So cool. they need a nine. They miss. No big deal. Um, casual. Casual. No yeah. How many deal. CPs you got there? Eight. Four. Uh, we'll stick these two into the Lancer there. Ready up some Overwatch, Phil? So you only need a five inch charge, but you do your Overwatch first. Four, five, six. Um, six shots. Six is needed. None got. Uh, M2 Inceptors just need five. They get an 11. Oh, big charge. Big charge. So we'll jump. Ah. These will jump around there. And whilst we're at it, we'll stick in the Librarian purely for the lulls. He'll need a nine going into the Gallant. Or get an eight, which is a no. No, thank you. No, Thanks thank for you. coming. And then we'll do these six Inceptors into your Helverin here. 43 oh, oh. shots from the Overwatch. Is the number of shots. Big, big. That's number. a huge roll. Big digits. Nothing. Nothing. Very, very charge. successful Overwatch. <laughs> no. Oh, it's gone. That's, that's big. Um, <laughs> no, do you know what? That's fine. I need, I need my CPs for the World of Pain I'm about to inflict. Oh, fighting <laughs> talk. And you respond to that, Phil? Nothing. Not so even, not even we'll, considering we'll it. come back once I've got my dice together for my uh, Smash Captain. All right. Right, look out, people. There's a fully loaded Smash Captain in town. <laughs> yeah, he's coming in hot. So 
As I said at the start of the battle, I did pay the extra CP to give him an additional wall or trait, and the one I gave him was Hunter's Instincts, which gives him plus one to hit, plus one to wound against monsters and vehicles, obviously. So now he's hitting on twos, even with a thunder hammer, we're rolling ones, wounding on twos. Sounds like cheating. <laughs> so he gets four base attacks, one uh, for Shock Assault, and one for Imperium Assault. So I am hitting on twos, we're rolling ones. You roll that one. That'll Lovely. do, Chief. That'll do. Now I'm wounding on twos. And I'm going to CPV by one of those. So there's five. But Mike, because it's a master crafted thunder hammer. Wow. Okay, five wounds. Yeah, sorry about that. So because uh, it's a master crafted thunder hammer, it's additional <laughs> one damage. So it's minus three, four damage. Five saves to make. And Here we six go. Up. Here we go. It's the gallon. That's big. This you is big. Big to the gallon. Where's he going? None of them. None of them. So Search. four, eight, 12, 16, 24. Is that right? That's right, 20 yeah. wounds, four fives. Oh, yeah, four fives. Yeah, so that's 20 damage. Good maths. That's a lot of damage. So he's down to four. Oof. So we've cut there because we've had a bit of a debate because using Tom's shenanigans, he can effectively leave combat now, consolidate a long way, yeah. and then use some CPs to attack again. So he could leave him pretty crippled and then potentially kill my Lancer. So I'm probably going to spend two CPs to interrupt because even though he's pretty heavily damaged on four wounds left on his lowest bracket, because uh, he's Mortan and he's a Gallant, he's still hitting on threes, because he's got plus one for Mortan and plus one for... Uh, yeah. What else have you got plus one for? So I, yeah, so I'm a bit gutted about that, really, because I usually take the Sigorian Storm, that gives me D3 attacks, and that would have killed him if I had just an additional... Yeah. So either know. way, he's dead, because you're going to fight again and kill yeah. him. Uh, so. so I'll do that. So I'll spend two CPs, which puts me down to two. Uh, and I shall hit back. So, yeah, because he's a gallant, he's weapon skill two. So, with the plus one for Mortan, he's hitting on threes. 15 attacks. How many do you need? Uh, yeah. 10 dice, please, sir. And there, sir. You have got Storm Shield, so I'm not necessarily going to kill him. So, three. Way my goal to be going. And then uh, twos. Yeah. That are ones. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven minus twos, mate. So seven. three up in one. Oh. So three go through, what's the damage? Two damage each. That's him dead. No, if I make one, he survives. What? Because he's got five, five wounds. You mean CP? Two damage each. Yeah, so if I save that one, I'll use a CP oh, okay. there. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Ah, he dies. He goes down. So. Oh, chapter. Yeah, there you go. One of the chapter then. How much is no, that? No, I say on the chapter. That's only only in death to shoot the end. Oh yeah, sorry, only in death to shoot the end. That's another three CP, so I have to do it. So you're zero CP now. Oh, sorry, two CP. Sorry, it was. Oh. So I'm, I should be on one. So here we go. Coming in hot. It's sort of a bit of a bit of a whiff, really, because I, I wanted to get back into here and then sort of kill him. But you know, it's good. Killed a gallon in one. Yeah. Three hundred and sixty points. So hit on twos. We are on ones. <laughs> two. <laughs> Wounded on twos. <laughs> Oh, there you that's go. What he, that's what he went <laughs> the last time. Sixes. Oh, oh okay. it's not so it's enough for 16 damage. He does, he does pop. <laughs> does, it does it explode? No. no, he doesn't. So, in a blaze of glory. Yeah, he has served his purpose in life. Not in the game, in life. So he has died. He will be teleported back to the battle barge, whisked home. And turned into a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> and taken up to the a squirrel mountain the above the... War Fortress, where we consume moving on. by the giant moving on. In by the, the vultures and the sky birds and all the other omens that, <laughs> that I love. Okay. Although so, to be fair, the 120 point model was taken out three times its value there, so yeah, not bad. Yeah, it, it could do so much more though. I think Chagorian, uh, honestly, with Chagorian Storm, next time I do it, I might give him Chagorian Storm is what I usually take, but because I wanted the, to be wounded on twos, that's why I did it anyway. It's a moot point now, he's dead. Roll so, your dice. So <laughs> these do like. Uh, Inceptors cause mortal wounds on sixes when they charge in. And they do none. So they get three attacks for a sergeant. Additional one. Shock four, assault. Shock assault. And then another three. There. So hitting on threes. Dooby dooby doo. Wounding on sixes, presumably. Sixes, I think. There's nothing. And now I'm two Inceptors about to die as well. Ah. Uh, yes, I think the scepters are worried at this point. Yes, but you know, this army isn't about that. It's about the narrative, and you know, exactly. the man has been exactly. taken. The man has been 
yep. zip back to the battle barge to, you know, he served his purpose, he's died a glorious death. And he's turned into a squirrel. And he's going to turn into a right. giant eagle. So he <laughs> has got knight seneschals, he's got five attacks. So uh, he's charged, or he's been charged, so he would be going to score three, but to two. So he's got five, uh, 15 attacks, hitting on twos, winning on twos. And then twos to win. So that's minus. Uh, minus two, mate. So fives. So that's not a bad roll, to be fair. Two damage each. That's two right. damage each. So only just one dies, two die. Only just. Yep. Yep. Build. Another unit dead there. So now she'll consolidate three inches yonder. Not bad. It's not bad. I killed three knights that turn, mate. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I know who this. I, I wanted to kill four. I'm greedy, as you can tell. I wanted to kill four. Stuff with on you. Right, okay. So, yeah, that was good. A nice little balance to round one. Round one yeah, right? I think that's, that's smooth. Round um, two. Yeah. This is battle round two. Yeah, no, I was saying it's a nice balance to round one because I was uh, strong I round mean. one. Yeah, I see you, man. I see you, man. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Pi I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Someone's getting excited. So, scoring. Uh, no, you've got. Um, right. I've got my go! <laughs> you got your Pipe down, yeah. Phil. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Back at the end of his uh, movement Move phase, movement turn two. End of the turn two Mortan movement phase. Phil, talk us through it. I think it's fi finally poised, so I'm going to go for denying points rather than probably staying alive, which might have been sensible. Because he's got Play quite a heavy threat melter team there, but rather than double back and try and take them out, I want to take these intercessors off this objective. I want to try and charge my Lancer into this unit of Inceptors. Um, I've moved Cotiaz. Uh, into a position where his chaplain, not chaplain, librarian. librarian, is the closest model. So I'll chuck uh, some some psychic shenanigans into him, and that's it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So have you got straight into psychic? Go, go straight into psychic. Bosh, bosh, bosh. That is right. So the first one, uh, what conflagration? The the non the walk charge of this? No, six. Okay. Three, four, five, does not go off. And then I will do my smite. Uh, 10, is that super smite? No, I'll no, we'll try and deny, obviously. obviously. Oh, no. D3. So D3. Okay, so D3 into your, one, just the one. One, takes the wound. Cool. So, are you feel you sort of fairly geared up for this uh, shooting phase, or? Yeah, let's go straight in to, I say that, I say that, young man. Give me two seconds. Stay, stay with me. I'm, just I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to bear with. <laughs> I'm keeping the real. faith. Put the, keep the pressure on. It's real. It's real. Uh, so the gallant is going to shoot his D6. Uh, Iron Storm Pod. Yes, into this unit here. So Bosh. try and get them off the objective. I'll whittle them down a bit. Uh, D6 shots, sir. Four shots. Stop hogging the dice, Thomas. Uh, the signal covers it. Uh, no, I don't think so. I believe so. No, it's just uh, not in line of sight. Threes. And threes again, I believe, because uh, it is strength five. So threes again. Uh, so all hits at minus one. So in cover, so three yeah. up. How many wounds does that make? Uh, four. So threes. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> with a plum. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> with a plum. That is effective cover right there. Uh, the melter into these guys here. What's uh, going in then? The melter. Melter guys, right now. And one at minus one dead. Well, it's vaporized. Uh, I've got damage, so I'm not going to roll one. Oh, yeah. It's vaporized. Elvrinsky? Uh, yeah, yeah, and I'm going to do the Lancer. Lancer so, uh, six shots, three, four, five, six into the unit back here. Uh, threes. Loving the ones tonight, my friend. And threes again. Just the one. AP? Uh, minus something. It's definitely minus something. Should be minus a lot in theory. No, it's not. It's not. It's like a little. It's not very good. Thing, isn't it? it's, like a, it's not amazing. It's not very good. It is minus one d3 damage. Three. three. No. Is that cocked? Yeah, go on, take it. It's cocked. It's fine. Because I didn't cover. Continuing with the shooting phase, Phil? Right, this could be pretty suicidal. So instead of the Helverine shooting at the nasty anti-tank weaponry, they're going to shoot at these uh, dug-in, into the ruins, uh, old-school space marines to try and deny them at that point. 
So I'm hoping the gamut's going to deny them. And uh, Tom killed four units. Three units. Three units, so I'd have to kill four. So I don't think it's going to happen. So four Playing the mission here. Well, so you know what they say. Rapid fire wargaming <laughs> top tip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so 43. Nice. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Very nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So hitting on threes. That's a nice roll. And wounding on threes. Uh, wounding on threes. Well, not so clever. Not, not, so not, nice. not quite so clever. Certainly, we'll not so kill minus one, is it? So three at minus one. So threes. threes. Yeah. Pow, pow, oh, pow, pow, pow. Thomas. Skills. Right, so the sword phase, strength is sword phase, so the gallant is going to charge in. Here we go. Um, Makes it comfortably a bit of overwatch though coming in here. Four shots, it's about eight shots, I like. Nothing, nothing. nothing. And then the Lancer will do a multi-charge chaplain and... Librarian. Uh, sorry, Librarian and the Inceptors. Cool, so, so that's a lot. Let me get my dice together. We're going to grab the dice and come back. Dice! So 36 dice. Oh, so we've got sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A depressing eight, eight six, nine. Right, ten, ten. ten. Little cheeky SN battle SN. Ball. in the hills. But there's five. Fives? Yeah, because there's strength five. So that's one at minus no. two. Shoot, that's it, I win. One damage, you win. That's it. Good game. That's a moral Thank victory. You. And then Storm Bolter from the Librarian. Sixes, to win nothing. So he's oh, sorry, sorry. It's not even that. What is it? It's this one. Down to 18. So, do you mind if I turn that over? Turn so, it over. So we don't forget. Yeah. Down to 18. We've got one CP left. Not on that don't need to anyway. So I'll start with the Gallant. There's no chance of interruption. I don't think it's on with anyway. Uh, so 15 attacks. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, hitting oh. on twos, winning on twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, how many things do you think you've got wrong so far tonight, Tom? Seven. Seven, okay. We'll have a count up in the comments. <laughs> if you see seven things wrong, we'll send you an RFW t-shirt. We only, we only look for positive comments. We delete the negative ones. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, Classic. We do. We do. I, right, I, I send them a strongly worded letter. Right, two. This two. Nice. Two. Nine. No, that'll do. That'll and then do. minus. Oh, good. Minus stop. two. Minus two, so five. This is D3 oh. damage actually, not two damage. Oh, that's the unit there. Yeah. Don't even have to do the damage. Don't have to, it's to double the thing, yep, yeah, gone. Yeah, sorry. Good night. Sorry, I said it was two, D3, so. Little consolidation there for the gallant, or? Um, yeah. Does you want to have a little shifty? Cool, that's one unit destroyed for Phil. Uh, Lancer. Lancer. And then uh, you've robbed your Overwatch, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So he's going to. Cheeky. Get rid of my HM. Phil, talk to me. How are we splitting these attacks out? Oh, I'm not too sure, really. I'm going to put five into the librarian. <laughs> so, into the... in summary, we've gone off camera, thought about <laughs> yeah. it, come back on camera, you quite don't really that know. That's a 30 minute cut. <laughs> <laughs> five into the librarian, 10 into the gravis, toughly spine, three wound jobbies. I'm only going to whittle down a few, but I want to kill the librarian. So, twos. I'm having a miss. And this is uh, threes. No, two, because even though he's modelled that, he's toughness four. Oh, he's not WYSIWYG? No, we oh, cool. We, in his channel, we try and keep it WYSIWYG, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> we try and foul. I do, anyway. So, so I've basically oh, upset with that. However, <laughs> this, <laughs> however this game finishes, I've won. He's at the wall victory. Yeah, he's dead. Is right. it minus what? Uh, minus two, two, two damage. damage. So five. Yeah, squashed. Yeah. Splat. That's two so units. Purpose? Needs one more somehow. Five. Oh, that ain't happening unless there's no. some serious morale failure, but I don't think that's going to happen either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If my shooting had been a little bit better from the health ring and him, yeah. well, same, I think it's, it's the saves that have been good, as yeah. opposed to the, the shooting's been good, saves been good. So ten attacks, twos. Three threes. threes. Kill a few, I'm going to kill three. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could kill two. So minus two, you said, yeah? Minus two. So fives. So that many go three and it's D3 damage. Damage. So it's five D3. So Ooh. first one. One. One dead. That's one dead. Two dead. Two dead. So then three dead. That's, three dead. That's all right. That's what I wanted. Uh, yeah. Okay. We need the sergeant. And the 
What's their leash? Awesome. Early eight. So you could fail another one. So, right, so one you get attack back. back, so three, one for shock assault, three for that. No, I don't tell you. Inceptors, I'll tell you what, people need to use them. I love them because they're amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but you know, the weight of dice is so good. Um, so, no, no wounds. That's fine. You massively cast right. them now. So, uh, we've got a leadership check on these chaps here. Yeah. They're fine. Yep. Ta da! Right. right, so Sorry. end of the turn, end of battle round summary coming up shortly. So end of battle round two, and this game is getting very tight indeed. Looking more towards the scores, three each. How's that come about? Well, Tom has a cheeky little troops unit. The last remaining troops unit on the table on that objective for one point. Tom also killed, uh, I believe it was three units for another point, and Phil unfortunately killed the warlord with his uh, his gallant on the right hand side of the table. So oh, actually, three lie. each. Sorry, actually tell three. a lie. He killed the librarian. Oh, how there's, there's some to, descent. How many did he kill? I think he killed two. No, he did do. Sorry, well, sorry, mate, you were right there. Yeah, he killed the librarian and the uh, interceptor squad. Awesome. Interceptor squad. So three each. And all to play for in this game. It's tight coming in to battle round three, coming back to you at the end of the movement phase. End of White Scars turn three. White Scars. I can't speak. White Scars, turn three. Movement, movement phase. phase. What are we doing? What is it? What's this game we're playing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, too many St. Etienne's by the sound of things. But I've moved this uh, Devastator squad up, so they are in uh, range of the Gallant here. Um, I've brought up the Inceptor squad back here, up here, into range of the Helvrin there. I have line of sight. I have the, cast, uh, apparently. Plus my... I've got plus, Salty. <laughs> uh, I've got plus one to wound on him as well, which is nice because of the catechism. Whatever it is. Can I borrow your time just for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> and this this contingent of white scars over here are making a valiant last stand in the attempt to hopefully try and get one more victory, squeeze one more victory point out of uh, this objective here. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to go straight into the shooting phase until I forget what I'm doing, then we'll pause. But we'll start off with the oh, Devastator please. squad please. into this squad. So uh, these ones are hitting a force. I will rotate on shields. One hit, one wound. I should have said that before you rolled. This doesn't matter. And the, this one's hitting on threes. Wound on fours. So that's two. Two wounds. Four up because of the rotation. Oh, well two d six. For eight. Oh, nicely done. Right, down to sixteen. I'll take that. I'll Very take that. nice. Um, we'll do. We'll go straight into these inceptors here, so they get six shots apiece. One CP, which is irksome. One CP each, in fact. So these inceptors into. Um, what should I do? What's his um, save? What's his base save? Uh, it's two up, because he's got arm on the same arm, which I forgot about earlier, but he's two up. Are we still in tactical, presumably? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yep. well, I'll tell you, we'll put it into the gallant. So hitting on threes. Nice. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And then these are wounding on fives. Oh, that's nice. That's one, two, three, or five, four, six. five, six. Uh, on you, in one. Four. Four up. So two go through. Two go through. Down to 14. I'll do my last uh, CP. Is it, what is C, Hellfire Shells one CP? Yeah. Yeah, so he'll put Hellfire Shells in, and he hits for D3 Mortal Wounds. Three. Nicely nice. done. And so then, that's your last CP gone? Yeah, I'm done there. And then it's these done. four, these three will rapid fire in. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Sixes. This is one, at uh, minus one. Uh, go uh, through. Go through, yeah. Down to ten. ten. And a pistol. Pistol in range? Uh, no. Didn't really. And then um, let me get my dice together for the DACA. The big DACA session. DACA, DACA session <clears> over, there. over there. It's a discussion about oh. Buca's plug. Uh. <laughs> we've, got 36, we've, got, we've got 36 shots coming from the incense. Oh, I don't even want to know. There. I don't even want to know what that is. Oh. Yeah. Right, sorry. 36, 36 shots going into your helmet over there, hitting yeah. on threes. With a catechism. Oh, that's not a bad roll. I'm not oh, going to lie. Did he roll for the catechism, did he? Yeah, he yeah. did that sort of. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can we go back and check that? We'll yeah, check we'll, the, we'll, we'll check, check the we'll footage. We'll check the footage. We'll check the footage. Can we? No. No. And now we're wounding on fours. I'm going to throw it out there. I sense Phil is somewhat sceptical. Tom gets cheatier the later he gets. <laughs> <laughs> so the more beers Phil has, the more, the more cheating I try to slip in. <laughs> Not the only thing I've tried. Wait! Wait! Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> so these are minus two. Oh, five up. Now you've got nine left. Oh, How many dice you got? Well, this is nappy. I've got a handful. I've got long fingers. Fingers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's, right. that's enough to sew, isn't it? Oh, is it? It is. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, seven, seven. slippery seven. seven. But you can charge in and punch me in the dick now. Uh, if you go in range. Oh, yeah, no, it's, a long, it's a long one. Um, so I'm going to whack in. No, you're not. What's, how far away is my chaplain? 16. On the nose. So two shots with the degree. One hit. No wounds. Now, how many wounds has that Inquisitor got? Do you know what? I've only used him once before, and that was a week ago. Right, we'll Probably come back. We'll come back to that because I'm about to launch my Death Wind launcher, which I haven't used this entire game yet. Yeah. I might fire at him, or I might fire at him. Well, if you hold on, I can tell you, he has got. Stay with you, Phil. Stay with you. Fresh on. Stay with you. We're in the he game. Has, he has got five wounds. Five wounds. I also need to check how many shots Death Wind launcher's got. <laughs> Stay with us. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. That's right. We know these rules. We've played this before. Uh, we've never guessed it. Assault D6. Sort D6. Uh, yeah, so my D6 shots are going to go into the Inquisitor. Is that the nearest model? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, I'd say. Yep. D6 shots for six. Oh, look out. Weapon skill. Uh, ballistic. Threes. Is it, uh, ballistic skill. Uh, a okay. three hits. Wounding on threes. A two wound at minus one. Two wounds at minus one. Could kill him. That's only one damage. Oh, so it's good. Yeah, that's fine. And... That, that was good. I enjoyed that battle round, Tom. Yeah, I think that's it. What did I kill? Nothing. No. <laughs> but you've plinked 14 wounds off there and you've taken him down to two. So next turn he's dead. He's in for a rough ride. Anyway, I'm recapping. Let's go and see me at the end of my movement. Phase. Yeah. Round the three. confusion is your face. The confusion is raining. Let's go. Um, let's go uh, up there. <laughs> <laughs> Could you be more camp? <laughs> right. Don't right. test us. Don't test us. Right, turn three, movement phase for House Mortan. We'll come to the end. Phil, talk us through it. Firstly, we had to swap camera because we had a battery issue. So if you've noticed some changes in, I don't know, the picture, that'll be why. It's all the porn I watch in the bogs at work. All the porn and the bogs <laughs> at work. So, Said with a completely straight face. Yeah, so I've moved the Helver in seven inches, lowest bracket over to there. Clotius has moved up. The Galant has moved up here. Galant, is he French? Yeah, Galant. The, Mo <laughs> the Moirax. He's not Kazakhstani, is he? And the Lancer has sneaked around here. Yeah. Uh, Schoolboy over for me there. To, yeah, to try and smash the bejesus out of these boys. So, the noble to, last stand. Strength to psychic phase. I've still got a lot to contend with because he's got some serious anti night stuff there and lock shots here, which I'm not going to touch this turn. Maybe. So, psychic. Zicotiez is going to shoot his... Uh, Mine bullets? Yeah, his uh, six up one. I can't remember what it's called. Custer something. He's a six. And he doesn't get it. And he smites into the same unit. And oh, it's perils. Perils. perils! It's a perils, people. And it's for just the one. Oh. Just the one. Boring. That was useless. Uh, straight into shooting. What we do now is uh, fire the storm pod into the uh, unit here. Perfect. Did the tactical work yet? D6. One, loving that. Threes. Is he still hitting on threes, threes even though he's marked? Is he bracketed? I think he's not bracketed yet on a 12. Let me just, um, I can't check. Is he, hit, he was hitting on a five anyway, isn't he? Is that a five? Yeah, I'll check it afterwards. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. And be wounding on a three, because it's three. straight five. Uh, no. Doesn't matter. Uh, the melter into, uh, yeah, same unit because I didn't nominate. One. This is rolling hot so far. Oh, this is some top rolling there, Phil. Four, five, six. Uh, so six shots from the uh, lance into the <laughs> it's a lance. here. Uh, down here. Threes. And threes again. Uh, so four at minus one, I think. Who's that going into the tactical squad? Into the tactical squad. Oh, three go down. 
So I'll take that. That's probably actually worked out all right. I don't think you'd be able to get in to there. Okay, so I shall shoot my Helverin now. So he's forced my hand there because he's removed his casualties rather strategically. Very well done, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll shoot my Helverin into the. Is it, he's definitely back, isn't he? On two. Yes, he's only got oh. two left. Oh, so I think he's hitting on five, fives, I'd imagine. Uh, so 43. Oh, shooting text. Five shots. It's really bad. Uh, and hit on fives. Nice rolling, though. And threes. Ha <laughs> oh. ha. Minus three, sir. Oh, I'll keep my sergeant alive to keep the leadership up. Okay. Uh, and I think. Oh, sorry, he's heavy stubber thingy. Three yes, shots. you don't. Yes, you're hitting success because that's. Um, you don't ignore the penalty for moving with that. Correct. Still? No, you don't. Yeah, yeah just right. hitting sixes. Right. What's that shooting right. at this? Because the, the, um, the yeah, because it's not the model that has the raw, it's the gun that has the gun that has the raw. To ignore. The model. Knights have the Titanic raw, which is they can move without penalty. Where do you make this stuff up? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll check that later. We'll check that in the comments. Don't so, miss anyway. Yeah. There's a mute point. Yes. So we'll come back in the charge phase? Yes. Let's see that. Oh, actually, Coach oh, has no. a gun. He has a gun. I've he has a gun. My, I've not got my rules because they're on the phone. That what guns he got? Called. Uh, he's got a, an eagle, a cyber eagle. I think it's like D6. Well, we'll come first. back in a second when we've just established what that we'll is. We'll find out. So I'm an idiot. Of course, the Helvrin doesn't have that rule. It's the big boy units at Titanic. So, sorry, chaps. Uh, it's okay, so Phil. I'm going to okay. shoot my two headed eagle. Uh, which is D6. I bet you are. the last guy yeah. here, so I need a, a high roll. Uh, I've rolled wonderfully this shooting phase, haven't I? <laughs> uh, hitting on threes, I think. Could be uh, enough. Is that any enough? AP? No. Oh, he lives. That's it. Okay, so that is the shooting Clutch phase. Save. Clutch save. Clutch save. Are we, young man, are we happy to crack on with the... Yeah, uh, straight into yeah, the assault phase. Assault phase. So, Charges. Just ready up some overwatch. Yep, so... Where's he going into, mate? The Lancer is going to go into the only unit you can. Which is the Inceptors, actually. Yeah. So that's 18 shots, 6. Actually, can I, if I charge like that, can I get attacks on all of them? I can, can't I? Yes, the yeah, unit, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm 6 years. Uh, 1, 2. No wounds. Okay, mm -hmm. and then he's going to... Uh, no, he did hit them as well. Yep. Yeah. So now I watch there. Okay. Okay, so I'll do the first 15 with the Lancer. Six, yeah, they're taking them casualties out that way. So, Save me there. Yeah, I, I needed to kill that unit, which I did not. Uh, twos. Oh, oh dear. And then three. This is a problem. It could be a problem. Size limb hands. Come on. Fingers. <laughs> Done. That's minus two, yeah? Minus two, mate. So fives. Oh, not bad. Oh, it's it's not bad. So D3 on each one of those. I need you to whiff here. First one. Two. So one dead. One dead. Oh! Two dead. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. Nice. It's a unit there. Unit destroyed. So he's going to console that in. And then he's going to consolidate him. Cool. Now, this is the all important A, he can fight back with his power fist. Yeah. Who's he going to go into, mate? So I'm going to go into the gallant. Okay. It's the lowest one. Go into the gallant? Um, yeah, I think it's. Oh, no. So, sergeant, how many sergeant attacks does sergeant have? Two or uh, three? Three. Is that, is that a primaris? Or? No, no, no more. I'll oh, just, oh, just, just do that. Just three two. attacks, hitting on fours. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it into the gallant, hitting on fours, two hits. Rooting on fours. Ah, that's a shame. Yeah, shame. He does survive. Um, we have got a leadership test on him though. So he lost four that turn. Leadership eight. So nice. Nicely done. Okay, guys, back at the end of uh, battle round three, end of uh, now. So we've got to come back to the, uh, the table here. We've noted that we have an extra point apiece. Um, hero, sergeant, standing between the two... Uh, Beast, close combat guys there, uh, has, has held his ground and has uh, claimed that objective and for a passed, point. Yeah, he passed his leadership. Passed his leadership, like an absolute legend. Um, and Phil, um, Phil's knights managed to kill obviously more units than Thomas turned for a point. So we are all square at four each. 
Going into battle round four, it couldn't be closer. Um, loads to play for here, back at the start of the movement phase for the White Scars. Tom, tell me a story. So, into my movement phase, um, I've actually fallen back with the captain here and put him in cover to hopefully try and Cheeky. sort of uh, offer some sort of distraction for these knights here. He'd probably die, but he'll die even easier if he stays there. So, let's give it a go. Um, I've moved up the death squad, so they are in melter range of a gallon. And then, well, multi melter range, not melter so range. Yeah, so, yeah, multi melter range. Yeah. And the last of the jumpy dudes have jumped up onto here to do a bit of spray and pray mm. down here. And I did do my catechism <laughs> this time. Uh, so they are got they have got plus one to wound on that there. So um, come back to me and I'll get some dice ready for my shooting phase. Cool. What? <coughs> hey! I just need to get my, um, I mean, you know, my death wind launcher is. But when you knew last time, when you fired it at me, but how many times do you check? <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three units. units. <laughs> it's a strength fire. Cool, right. Are you filming that? Yeah, I'm still filming <laughs> this. Okay, cool. Strength it's fire. comical. If it's strength five, why was it it hit me, wounded me on fours the last time? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Like, okay, because it was shooting at him. Mm. And it should be wounded on three. So, don't so, so anyway, Death Wing Launcher. Sounds and suspicious to me. Calvary. The three shots. Three <laughs> enough. Wounding Could on three. Be hitting on threes. Nah. Could be enough. Wounding on fives. Nothing. See now, do I get greedy? Yes. Um, okay. Glory. Glory. Multi melters. Yeah, we're gonna put two melters and the grab gun into this. Helper in here. The and then two into this chap. So here. which one's the got the cherub going on then? The cherub is gonna go. So I've used the cherub. I'm gonna use the, um, uh, the signum thing. Signum. To go into, into the helper. So gotcha. this one is hitting on threes, hits, and then this one hits on fours. They both hit. God damn it! Wound, 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 wound on threes. threes. They both wound. Oh, they, that's, that's big. Wound, that's no. big. Yes, it has. Five up. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so two yeah. go through. I'm sorry. Two fives. It makes one. one goes through. One d six damage. Needs a two. Oh, he just oh. about gets enough. Uh, I don't think there's any range for that, is there? Which we explode. I'll roll for it anyway. Oh, no. Right. So that's one unit, that's good, that's a good start. That's a good start. This dude hit into the gallant, so hit fours. on fours. One hits. That's one wound. Five up. No. D6 damage. For five. Five. Nicely so done. Seven wounds, I'll take Those that. Those multi melters have been awesome. They have. They bloody well have. And that's uh, now we're going to put 36 shots into Cortez. Yep. Big shout. So now I'm hitting on threes. What's his toughness? Toughness four. Uh, I think it's fours. So I'll be wounding on twos. I think Katie has a spot of bother here. I think he might be. So hitting on threes. Let's take out the misses, because I'm not gonna lie, but that is pretty juicy. No wounding on two. This is quite, I must admit, I don't play space moves a lot, but this is quite a decent combo, I think. The, the, the amount of firepower six of these dudes can put out. Yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty, that's pretty, pretty good. good. And then twos to wound. And that's all of them, I think. <laughs> no ones. So, oh, there's one one. Oh, there's yeah. One. So, that's, so eight off of 36, that's 28 minus two. Not a problem. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Gonna roll it's fine. Many. It's roll absolutely fine. In my hand. So that's four gone through. Very, very dead. So that's, I know it's a quick shooting round, but you know what? That worked out better than I expected, to be fair. And I will take that for a dollar. Very good. Two units destroyed in the turn, Tom? Two units destroyed. Um, yeah, and I think we'll come back at the end of... Don't even bother coming back. Don't even bother coming back. We're going straight into it. I've got two models. Reaching the crucial points of the game now, moving into the shooting phase for House Mortan. Phil, talk us through it. What are you doing, buddy? So it's looking bleak because I can't kill a lot. I've got one guy in there, so I totally kill. I've got to rely on my rocket pod plinking off some devastators. Very important. I rolled useless with it. Dangerous time. unit for nice this one. Dangerous. Maybe they've been really good. Surprise they've been really good. My non really shooting. My losing my Morax is turn one or two. Oh, well, I killed the last one there, yeah. Hurt. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to fire my D6 rocket pod into those. Yes. The melter into him. Starting okay. with that, D6 rocket pod, fire. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll be hitting on threes. 
even if you're in your in on fours now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, good point. Because I'm so down not, not that it matters. Not it's matters. Yeah, yeah. I'm down into my middle bracket and uh, threes because it's strength five versus toughness four. So just two, mate, at minus, minus one. Saves them both. Lovely, lovely job. And a melt item to the barn ruins. It's uh, twos to kill. Oh, uh, so I need a six. Now that's my last troop choice. Okay, and, well that and, is all. And, I, a, and a unit killed. And a unit killed. So that is all I can shoot, uh, but I'm in lots of bother now because I've got some Melter shenanigans coming my way. Yeah, so I think we can go straight, we go straight into this. Yeah, thing? yeah, so end yeah. of battle round four. So I actually killed two units there. And I'm killed one, so um, Tom is five, five four, four up. up. Indeed. Going into battle so, round five. Yeah. Indeed. End of battle round four. Five, four to the scars. Very, very tight. Then we move straight into the start of battle round five. Tom, talk us through it. So I've bring, I've brought my absolute MVPs up, my melt, the multi melt squad into range of the gallants. Cool. And bringing, even if I advance, I can't get in range of either of these, so I'm just going to leave them chaps up there. I'm not even going to cast the cap. Heroic, very heroic. Oh, you know, stoic. Um, so the first three uh, multi melters into the gallant there, hitting on fours. On? Fours. One hit, and then this one's hitting on threes. Oh. oh. No command nice. points there. And then falls to wound. Oh, oh, oh first time. Oh, they've been so good. First time. Now, now it's interesting. In now it's interesting. Yeah, that's right, it. That's pretty much your turn, that's isn't my it? Turn, yeah. Now, Phil. Right, come back. In now the game, then. Sudden, now then. Back on. It's back in the <laughs> game. Look at his chin up. Look. Ooh. End of Phil's movement phase. About round five. Phil, talk to me. Yep. So I just tried to well, I moved the gamut up. He's got a 12-inch charge. Uh, I've got to really hope my melter and my uh, rocket pod kill a unit five, which is deeply unlikely. And the Lancer's just come round out of cover there. So, strength of shooting. D6 on the rocket pod. Three. Not great. Fours. In a fours. Two. Not great, but that'll do. Uh, one at minus one. One at minus one. Fours. Oh, oh, loving that. Melter. Melter. Yes, it's not meant to be. Oh right. dear. Over to you, sir. Oh no, dear. What's the range on that? No, it's out of range. Out of range. That, uh, that, that, that essentially means that there is no point scored in this battle round. Yeah, yeah, correct. Neither, neither have scored any points that round. So, battle round five, start battle round six. You Tom, need are you? First, you need to roll on a three, four, five, or six. It goes on. Oh, oh it doesn't, it ends. That's it. Epic game, game over. Game. Well game. played. So, so that's it. Uh, it says four, but it should be five. That, that's pretty much in about around five. The game didn't continue. Five four to the scars. Oh, so congratulations, Tom. Well played. That was a good game. Cheers, mate. Good game. Well, well played, gents. Yep, yeah, thank you very much. We'll, we'll uh, have a quick summary after. Just before it ends, <laughs> Phil has we forgot to do the I a cheeky little Roll to make it's here. There is a, there, and there is, but there is Overwatch to, to do here though. If he does this, so we'll do that first. He needs oh, yes. four multi melters first. So four multi melters hitting on sixes. Nothing. No, right oh, now. This, if this is a twelve, nobody will believe it. And and we just need to point out one other thing about this. What a graph gun! I don't know what that is. I don't know what that does. There's one CP left. <laughs> so there could be two goes at this. Oh, okay. is it an eleven? Okay. Is it an eleven? Yeah, yeah. Does he need an eleven? So I don't know. It's a twelve. Actually, I don't even think you can prepare a charge. Why not? Because you're outside of twelve. No, that's oh, an no. eleven all day long. That's eleven inches for for days. Oh, yeah, so put it there. Right. That's that's the closest point of his base. It's there. Yeah, so put it there. It's actually bang on twelve. So you have to be yeah. yeah. So you, you roll that 11. to get a six. Yeah, you need that to rewrap that. It needs to be a six essentially. Sorry, the camera went a bit scary wire there, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> boo! No shrink to the game. Summary cool. coming up in a sec. Guys, what an amazing game. Incredible. Well played, both of you. Cheers, mate. Really, really good one to, to, to narrate and, uh, and, and be part of that one. Good Great. Fun. Good fun. So, 5 4 to the Scars. How do you think they performed? Tom, is your MVP? Yeah, did, did well, mate. Um, I was hoping for more out of my Smash Captain. I think in future I'll be a knight. He killed a knight, but. Yeah. He did his job. That's his job. I want him to kill two. I want more. Yeah. So, I think next time <laughs> I'll give him the Chagorian Storm to get a D3 attack, because that extra attack could be all the difference between killing a knight and not killing yeah. it. MVP, funnily enough, 
is going to have to be. It's a weird, it's a strange unit. Just so we're aware, yeah. Tom's <laughs> minimum standard for a 120 point unit is 650 points. <laughs> yeah. points of points. Anything less, less he's disappointed. Anything less is the sort of returns uh, I'm looking at. Right? <laughs> so, my MVP is found out as a unit you've never ever seen, and it's the multi melter squad in drop pod. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They they whiff right at the end there, but all through that game, yeah. they harassed the gallant. They ki they killed a hel um, a more uh, they, they, they killed they killed a helper in. I'm gonna tell you in a minute. But yeah, but I will tell you what, it's yeah, an expensive yeah, unit. Good. I don't know if it's worth the points, but you know how much is it? Just how much is it? Oh, it is. I don't know. Loads. Uh, well, I, I can't even tell you. Yeah. Yeah. But loads. But really good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I loved it. Great game. Yeah. Really Great timing. Um, any, any 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 sort of Anything sort of slightly disappointed? Anything you might change? Anything no, you fancy it's, to it's, it's bring yeah. in? Um, over the course of the time, I'll get rid of the um, tactical marines and bring in probably another unit of intercessors. Yeah. But I don't want to change it too much no. because I built this army before the sure. Codex came out, and I built it purely to have a laugh with. Yeah. Um, yeah. I could tune it, but I don't want to. No. It, it, no. it is no. what it is. No point. It's not the point. No, it's, it's, it's not what it's for. Fair play. No, very really good, Phil. Different, different style of my list. What Very different run. style, yeah. So obviously, you know, Tom's bringing his white scars, and we said let's try and keep it as you know fluffy as we can. Yeah. So it's yeah. easy to say that with good knights, but yeah, I went heavy on the uh, close combat. So when the Moira axes went down early on, yeah, uh, yeah, it was a case of running around Benny Hill style trying to chase things uh, and, and devastate his normal yeah. and shoot a knight list. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah. Got a crusade or whatever. I was just thinking it was very nice today to see an imperial list and, and sort of talk about one and narrate on one. We, we was no no Gatling cannons. Yeah, no, it's just like it's, it's, it, I mean, yeah, but not to you know, undermine your work you did there. I mean, it's still two gallants and a lancer and yeah, yeah, two yeah, axes yeah, now. Really it just goes if you just put a crusader in that model, which you've got into into that list, it yeah. just takes it to another level. Yeah, yeah but, but that's that's what but tonight yeah, wasn't about. It's not, it's not about that. It's mainly about your cheese. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the comments. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. I tried. I tried to cheat and, and forget rules as little as possible. So we, we hope you're enjoying these. Uh, we're five in now. Is this episode? Five deep. We're five or six deep. Yeah. 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 We're knocking them out at one a week now. Uh, and yeah. the comments and the feedback have been absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much for that. Awesome. We've, uh, we've been blown away, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, people yeah. saying they're you know really enjoying it. Uh, yeah. So that, that means the world to us. We've got. Still got a load more armies you guys haven't seen yet. Yeah, um, lots more in the works as well. Lots more in the works. We've got, you know, always packing yeah. and building. We are, we are. Um, so, Looking yeah. forward to bringing you more. Indeed. So, yeah, stick up, stick up in the comments if there's anything you particularly want to see or any other rematches. We've yeah. got obviously Tom Danvers and his Blood Angel. Joe's got a lot of armies. Yeah. yeah, if you want to put a tenner in an envelope and send it to us. If you want to put a tenner in an envelope and send it to us. A tenner in a card. You can't beat a tenner in a card. It's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so from Tom, from Phil, from myself, and from all of our microphone all gaming, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.